Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use servers on Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.0, betas 1 through 5, and this method will still work on you know beta 6, beta 7, and even the final release of Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.0 whenever it comes out. So yeah, if you know if you're running a version that isn't you know beta 1 through 5, you know this will still work. Beta 5 is the current version that is out right now. So that's why I'm going that's why I'm saying that because that's what I'm going to be using in this video. So you're going to need an app to make this, you know, a lot easier. And this is actually the app that I make called MCPE Mod Locator. It's got, you know, mods, texture skins, maps, seeds, servers, and I don't know. It just basically, basically simplifies the process of getting this custom content and stuff like that. And that includes servers. So I'm going to be showing you that today. So let's go ahead. After you've gotten uh, MCPE Mod Locator, there's a link for it in the description. After you've gotten it, let's go to Servers. 0.11.x servers. The X, if you don't know, stands for like any version that after the 11, basically. So that could be 0.11.1, 0.11.2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so on. Anyways, let's open that up. And I kept, I tapped it like five times and missed every time. <laughs> so we got uh, several different servers here, not a whole lot yet. The next update I do, I'm going to focus on getting skins and 0.11.0 servers and fixing a bug that I'll show here in a second. But I'm going to add Lifeboat Survival Games. And for some reason, I can't join that one. It shows that it's online, but I can't join it for some reason. I don't know if it's full or what. But I'm also going to add Zombie Craft because that one actually does work. So you just click it, and it goes. So when you open up Minecraft Pocket Edition, it'll just show up there. It'll ping them. Lifeboat, you can see it says it's online. But like I said, for some reason, I can't join it. Zombie Craft, I'll try to join that one and see what I get. There we go. It seems like there's like 50 million people who just joined. There's somebody. That would be really cool is if like somebody who's a subscriber on here, you know, saw their own username and, you know, they saw me join. I think that'd be pretty cool, which I think, yeah, my name is just Steve. I haven't even changed it. But yeah, another way you can do it uh, that'll also make it quite a bit easier. And this is a bug I was talking about because for some reason, or for, uh, not for some reason, I just forgot to do it, I'll be honest. Uh, when you go to 0.10.x, you can see it's got add custom IP here. I'm going to move that to this page right here uh, in the next update. But when you open up 0.10.x, go to add custom IP, and this will still work for 0.11.0 and frankly any version that's out that supports multiplayer, which I don't, I don't even remember if 0. Yeah, 0 0.9.0 did, didn't it? I forget. I don't, I don't remember if it supported external servers, but whatever. So basically you enter the name of the server, so that would be... You know, if I was putting in my own server, which I don't even have a server, for those of you asking, no, I do not have one yet. So Dogger2011, then you put in whatever IP address that you have, so whatever, and then the port. Now, I don't even know if this is going to accept that. I'll just put in an actual port. Let's see, and an actual IP address. I'll just do a simple one. 168.1.1. And then you just hit click add server. The server has been added to your game. And the reason that you would do this, because you know you can automatic, you already can do this in uh, MCPE. Is you know you just type it in. It's easy. But you can also paste, which I don't think I have anything in my clipboard. Yeah, copy. Then when you hold down, you can paste stuff into there. So if you have like a long IP address, because it seems like every time I go to add an IP address, I get the longest freaking IP address on the internet. And, you know, then I have to try to remember that and the most confusing one at that. And that never works out great. So that you just can copy the IP address, paste it in. And if you want to do like multiple servers, that can make that quite a bit easier as well. So that's why you would use something like that because you can't paste stuff into the uh, selection screen here on MCPE. At least you couldn't the last time I tried. No, I can't do anything actually. There we go. Yeah. You can't paste stuff into there, so that's why that would make it a little bit easier, you know. So yeah, that's how you can use servers on 0.11.0. All the servers that are going to be in this list here, not this list, this list are going to be on, are going to be compatible with 0.11.0. Whether or not they're going to actually be full or, you know, online currently, I don't actually know because I can't control that, but... Uh, one thing you might be wondering is why the server status doesn't show up here, and the reason is because 0.11.0 does that for you already. So, you know, if I put it in, if I put the server in the list here, it was up at one time, so you can just add it, and then you can watch it through the MCP app because it does a little bit better job of checking if the server's online or not than what I had previously on the 0.10.x page. So. 
that's why I don't have that in there this time around. But still, all the servers that are going to be in, in here are going to work with 0.11.0. So just make sure to watch out for all of the MCPE mod locator updates. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave your comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.